In the shadowy depths of internet lore, there lies a tale that has chilled the bones of gamers and horror enthusiasts alike. Today, we're diving into the eerie world of the Godzilla Ness Creepypasta, a digital haunting that has captivated the imagination of many. Join us as we unravel the mystery behind one of the internet's most spine-tingling stories. Our story begins in a seemingly innocent manner, with a gamer acquiring a nostalgic cartridge of Godzilla, Monster of Monsters, for the NES. But this was no ordinary game. Players reported strange anomalies, bizarre levels, and a feeling of being watched through the screen. The game began to deviate from its original programming, introducing levels that were never part of the original design, characters that defied explanation, and a narrative that seemed to be written by the game itself. At the heart of this digital nightmare was Red, a malevolent entity far beyond the game's original foes. Red was not just a character, but a presence that stalked the player both in and outside the game, blurring the lines between digital fiction and unsettling reality. The Godzilla Ness Creepypasta isn't just a story about a haunted game, it's a journey into psychological horror tapping into our deepest fears about technology and the unknown. It represents a modern digital folklore where tales of haunted media resonate with our anxieties about the digital worlds we inhabit. Years after its emergence, the Godzilla NES Creepypasta continues to fascinate and terrify. It's inspired countless discussions, analyses, and even fan-made games that attempt to bring the chilling tale to life. The Godzilla NES Creepypasta is more than a tale of a haunted game. It's a reflection of our collective fears, a commentary on our relationship with technology, and a testament to the power of storytelling in the digital age. As we power down our consoles tonight, we're left to wonder, in the vast unexplored depths of the digital world, what else lies waiting to be discovered? Thank you for joining us on this eerie journey. For more mysteries and tales from the digital beyond, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep your eyes on the screen and your mind open to the possibilities of the unknown.